Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about something really quick and something very small, which is this Venom Marvel Comics Digest. It's uh, Amazing Spider-Man featuring Venom, and it has a little cool Mark Bagley Venom uh, on the side there. It looks like Mark Bagley's artwork. It's very, very shrunk down though, so it's hard to tell. Uh, but these little things, I think some of you guys told me that there's nothing much to these, because uh, I mentioned it in one of the solicits that it was coming out in this month, in, in August, and I wasn't sure I was going to pick one up. And some of you said, oh, don't worry about it just reprinted stuff nothing major you know it's it's not a big deal it's not gonna be any new stuff in there but I still wanted to make a quick little video on it so you guys knew that it was out there because I know some of you guys would like to pick up some Venom things uh, but because a lot of issues you know like graphic novels and things could cost money that some of us don't have and then also tracking down back issues just to read can be kind of a hassle so this actually comes with some fun stuff uh, some that we covered on the show and some that I was going to and then decided to pass on although we still might make another episode later on uh, but this one just has some cool like classic Spider-Man stories uh, with the Kingpin that you can get print like that gets reprinted so you can kind of see some Kingpin battles uh, but then it gets into the black costume stuff so you get Homecoming which is the, the storyline where uh, Spider-Man came back home after the Secret Wars and he came back wearing the black costume. So this is the first appearance, essentially, of uh, the Venom costume, and that is uh, 252. Uh, in chronological order, as far as storyline goes, uh, technically Secret Wars 8 is first, like the first time Spider-Man wears the suit, but then there was some delays and stuff. We talked about that before in the previous episodes in the book coming out. So uh, what happens is the Spider-Man books shipped on time uh, and they were supposed to come out after Secret Wars number eight came out so that everyone would know Spider-Man had a new costume, but they didn't. So Spider-Man just shows up coming out of a portal wearing a new costume. And so fans are like, what's going on? And they're like, yeah, don't worry. Secret Wars comes out in like two months. So you're going to find out all the answers. Um, so this is the episode here where he uh, rescues uh, Doc Connors and brings him back from the, the battle world uh, planet where they were fighting. So this is our first symbiote. So you get to see Spider-Man rocking the symbiote uh, for the first time and in you know some of the first issues he was in and then they reprint just some other stuff other fun spider-man stories uh we have uh, by myself betrayed uh, amazing spider-man 258 which is this great classic image which actually they did in the animated series when peter parker had that nightmare of his classic suit and the symbiote suit they were tall as like godzilla and king kong uh, or i guess got two godzillas and they were fighting in new york and knocking over buildings and it was like this big you know uh like movie like that it was like a japanese like godzilla movie and they were fighting over you know peter parker and that was a great scene i love that they uh, you know put that into the animated show but then you get you know moments with him and black cat she was there in the early days um with the costume and then as, as well as uh, felicia i mean felicia hardy obviously black cat but mary jane as well and then you even have the moment where Spider-Man separates from the suit and gives it to the to the Fantastic Four, and he runs around as Baghead Man for a couple issues uh, <laughs> with the uh, Fantastic Four costume on. So you get that in there, and then you get uh, the suit coming back to Peter, and uh, you know, kind of warping his mind, and then him going to the church to separate himself from it. So you get all that here, but you don't get actual like in continuity venom uh, and so that was a little bit of a bummer you see all the symbiote stuff here but then they immediately go to this which is marvel adventures so this is something i was going to cover on the show and i ended up passing on it uh, which is these five issues or six issues that venom and spider-man showed up in this universe and this was marvel adventures was was written for kids it was a new continuity it didn't share any of the old continuity and so this was uh you know them telling retelling essentially the symbiote story and in this version the symbiote was not from outer space it was not an alien but it was actually something made by the tinkerer and the tinkerer he was upgrading a bunch of villains as you know suits and stuff like stilt man he was upgrading stilt man's armor and he was upgrading like the vultures and like some other characters um and uh, and basically uh Spider-Man has to confront him, and when he does, he comes across the black suit, and it is a uh, like a almost like a programming nanotype, you know, kind of thing. And uh, and Spider-Man touches it, it goes onto his finger, and then he becomes the black-suited Spider-Man. So it's not an, a sentient being with its own mind, and it you know it's not an alien or anything like that, uh, but it is something that has aggression, and it does uh, you know act aggressively when it's on Spider-Man and cause him to do things. And so he, you know, kind of loses it and loses his temper. And so he gets rid of it. And then it bonds, of course, to Eddie Brock, who in this universe is, I think, just like a guy. Like, he's just like a, a thief. And uh, they show him, like, trying to, like, steal... Uh, from someone and Spider-Man actually, uh, you know, gets him arrested and uh, and arrests him. And so Eddie Brock develops a hatred for Spider-Man because he was a thief that got caught by Spider-Man. So not very 
creative, I feel. Um, although Fred Van Lente is a, a pretty good writer in some things, but for this, like, I just, I understand they were going for something new and different, but I really didn't really, I didn't dig this too much. Uh, so that's why I didn't really want to cover it on the show. Plus it was kind of an alternate reality Venom, so it didn't really sync up with a lot of stuff we talk about on the show. Uh, but at least we'll talk about it here so you guys know it exists. But in this one, they also have the issue where Venom comes back in, uh, I think, Marvel Adventure Spider-Man number 35, and he decides to team up with Spider-Man. And so now he's like, all right, I'm going to be the anti-hero. I'm going to team up with you and we're going to do something. But of course, he turns out to be kind of a, a douche and Spider-Man has to take him down at the end. And these are stories where Spider-Man can just literally web someone up and they're, you know, they're beaten or chain them up and then the, the story ends. And that's kind of what you get here. Um, and then I think at the very end here, they put in a little story where... Uh, you have uh, Spider-Man from one of the newer cartoons or something. So it is mostly Spider-Man with some Venom in it. But if you already own these issues, not a big deal. I wouldn't recommend going to buy it. But if you don't own it and you just want to see those early issues of Spider-Man and you don't want to pay, you know, the back issue price for them or buy them in a graphic novel, you can get this for only $6.99. And you can probably pick this up anywhere. I mean, this comic stores do uh, carry these, but I think there's a couple other bookstores and like Barnes and Nobles and stuff also carry stuff like this. So, uh, and of course you can order them online as well. But these are, these are cool. I like these little digest size. And when I saw it, it, it's printed by Archie and Archie Comics. So I think you can get some of these on the Archie website as well if you don't have like a Barnes and Noble or a bookstore near you. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Nothing major, no big news. I know that Venom number five comes out in a couple days. So we are definitely going to talk about that and I'll pick that up and review it for you guys. And then I promise I will get back to the toys. I still have all the toys here. I have Typhoid Mary here and I got Scream and, and Cletus Cassidy and everyone. I promise I will get back to those. Uh, I've just... I used to do toy reviews all the time and I burnt out on them pretty quickly. And uh, so I don't want to like burn out again and just do them all in one session. So I think uh, tomorrow's my day off. I might record two of these and try to get them up to you guys by the weekend. And then next week I'll do like two more. And then the week after that, we'll do the final two. So I'll kind of spread them out so that I don't, uh, you know, I'm just not a toy reviewer. Uh, I'm not a very good one. You saw when I tried to do it uh, earlier, I ended up eating a box of a Scarlet Spider toy. So um, if you guys want to just see the figures and let me know in the comments, Maybe I'll just make a video where I open all of them and we just spend like 20 seconds or 30 seconds on each one. Um, or if you want them one at a time, let me know. It's up to you guys. I'll, I'll leave that decision to you if I get enough comments down below. But if not, I'll just continue as planned and do them one at a time. So anyway, let me know what you think of this. Uh, anything in here that you wanted to pick up or you want to read. And if not, you know, like I said, it's not essential, but it was kind of cool to revisit those early Spider-Man issues with the black costume and kind of see those Marvel adventures again. I mean, I was going to do a whole episode on them. I read like all six issues at Venom showed up in but ultimately I was like eh, we're already doing ultimate venom and this was around that time so I was like I'll skip this and maybe we'll do it another day or maybe hopefully talking about it here is enough because honestly it's not very interesting stuff um, but this for $6.99 was worth it I like the issues that were in here especially the kingpin ones those were fun too so let me know what you think of this down below thank you so much for watching my videos as always hopefully some more movie news will come up soon but until then I got comics I got Thunderbolt stuff I got uh, the toys we got a lot of stuff to get our hands on and I'm sorry I'm running a little behind but I got a new writing project that I have to do and I'm trying to knock it out quickly and also wrap up the ending of my book uh, the king of neverland so i'm working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes and taking a little bit of break from videos uh, or at least pumping them out as often as i was so hopefully you guys are okay with that but i promise you more content coming soon thanks for watching my show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace